Well, uh, evening everyone. Um, well, it's been a couple of weeks since I, uh, I last vlogged and uh, yeah, to be honest, I've not really been, I've not been feeling it really with this, with all the uh, terrible news at the moment. Um, yeah, I kind of had the wind knocked up my sounds a bit really, which is uh, understandable really given the situation. So I thought I'd just do a quick video. Um, first, just say hi. Uh, I hope you're all, most importantly, keeping well and safe. Obviously staying at home now, as most of the world is now on on lockdown. But uh, yes, it'll be a painful time ahead, but uh, for a good reason. We obviously have to protect ourselves and uh, our neighbours and our friends. Anyway, I'm obviously uh, I'm on lockdown like the rest of you, and um, although I have some private sites which I, I can go to, um, I've chosen not to really because I have to drive to them. So, and the rules are that you have, you know, some exercise. It doesn't seem right to drive there. So, I'm now going to vlog from my local village. Um, I'm quite fortunate. I do live out in the countryside, as you can see behind me. I live out and uh, run next to these open fields. And uh, I should be ashamed of myself, really. I've never actually vlogged or photographed any wildlife in my village and I've been here for nearly 19 years now so I'm going to use it as an opportunity to see what's around I'm going to try and catalogue uh, what wildlife is around here and uh, bring that to you in a series of vlogs over the next weeks and months however long this uh, period of takes so I'm just going to walk across this field now and then uh, I mean, what I'm actually doing tonight I have seen a uh, little owl here in the past um, so I'm going to go and check out this a tree that's over here and uh, take you along with me. So fingers crossed we may see something, if not it'll be an upcoming project. Okay, so I've made it over the bridge now. Uh, found it in the end, just there. So, and uh, I'm walking across up, up to little owls. Now, never photographed them. I don't know if you can see, but they're over in that tree, or they were last year. So, I don't know if you saw that on camera. I'll take you to it now, anyway. Um, but yeah, unlike my other little owl sites, I've well, I spent a lot of a lot of years photographing the uh, the owls, so they're they're actually quite used to me now. These ones I've never photographed, so these are going to take a little bit of work to get the type of shots that I like. You know, I like those very intimate, low-level images, which you see. You know, you see me post on social media. So here is the, uh, the tree where the owl is in that tree. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I'm going a bit tighter. And sometimes he sits up in uh, this tree and I've walked up and then he flies across but he definitely nests up in this tree and you'll see in a minute when I take you to the tree that it's a it's a classic nesting site it's very hollow there's the tree I mean there's nothing obvious there at the moment it is a little bit early actually I think I mean normally I have my best Best times photograph them around April, May time, so we're getting there. Um, as I say, I don't really know the pattern of this, uh, this particular bird, so I don't want to hang around here too long, so I don't want to disturb it. So anyway, this is the tree. It's a classic, I would say, little owl tree or an owl tree. It's full of uh, holes, um, little, little places where it can nest. Um, so yeah, and, uh, and like a lot of the, uh, the trees that I uh, photograph owls in, they're often ash trees for some reason. This is another ash tree. Um, and yeah, I don't know whether they, they rot easier on the inside or 
they're typical for having these these big hollow areas but uh, pretty much all the little owls I photograph nest in ash trees just like this one so yeah perhaps it's uh, something to uh, take out if you're looking for little owls find a big old ash tree like that that's not even that big but it's fairly old with some some holes and crevices and uh, yeah see what happens okay so yeah nothing nothing to see in terms of the owl um, which, but I wasn't expecting to I mean it's gonna be a long project I know the owl is here it's been here for the last few years so um, let's hope it is anyway I mean I'm assuming it is um, but yeah it's a very quick video tonight it's more of a well, it's definitely a recce of my local area introduce you to it this is it I'm surrounded by by fields and as you can probably see in the background we even have our own uh, wind turbines which made it into the village probably between five six years ago now so um, to, but to be honest they're no trouble they don't disturb me anyway so um, so this is yeah this is my local very local patch and as I say I don't normally photograph here but it'll be a, a challenge uh, over the next weeks and months and I hope to bring that to you in uh, some nice vlogs and images so more importantly uh, just a leaving message really um, I'm gonna stop walking because I'm, I'm a bit out of breath I haven't been out of the house for about a week so um, yeah it's obviously a very sad time and uh, you know my thoughts are with you all uh, I, I personally I quite struggle in these situations I I get quite upbeat when I see the numbers going down and then like today when the numbers are uh, up again considerably um, yeah it does does affect me quite does hit me quite hard really so it takes me quite a bit of effort to sort of summon up the enthusiasm to go back out but um yeah I'm coming out here um, I know I really appreciate that uh, there are people out there in a lot worse situation than me so I want to come out make the effort and uh, try and cheer you all up with some uh, some decent vlogs and images so you know thanks very much for watching um, head over to my channel if you like what you've seen and subscribe you know, please share it with my with your uh, your friends and also check out the other great YouTubers out there that are trying their best at the moment to uh, to bring you some nice videos it seems that uh, YouTube at the moment is definitely the place to be with uh, you know, lots of people in the same situation it's amazing how people have uh, rallied together and uh, to bring you some great content so thanks for watching um, I will share some more images soon on, on Twitter and Instagram as I have been over the last few days. And I don't know if you saw my post tonight about uh, me f uh, processing some of your raw files. So a lot of you in the past have asked me how I process my, my images. And I thought it'd be quite nice rather than process mine would be for you, for you to send your, your raw files to me and then I'll process them how I would do my own images and then record a video taking you through the step by step of how I do that so um, what I'll do over the coming days is I'll create a link uh, where you can upload your raw files and then I'll do my best to uh, bring out bring out those images uh, for you and uh, just do a couple of uh, varieties everyone has their different style of uh, so I'm looking at a hare just standing over there actually hiding from me in the grass um, yeah, every photographer has their own style of uh, post-processing and I certainly have my own. Um, so yeah, we'll, I'll set that up soon and uh, hopefully that'll take off. And also don't forget, I mean, I have also set up a space on my website, a community gallery. So you can actually post the images of your, the, the pictures you're taking in your own back gardens of wildlife in your garden. So do use that. I mean, there's quite a few images on there. We've got quite a few from around the world, some from America, Peru, um, but uh, it's free. And why not uh, upload your images there and create a nice community space for to show off your uh, your photos as well as social media so anyway that's enough for me rambling on um thanks for watching take care of yourself and uh see you in the next video coming very soon bye for now